guys, welcome to Expert Influencer Academy. My name is Charles Watson, founder, and welcome to a new segment that we've got going on on our channel called Social Light, where we go out and we find successful entrepreneurs and creators and just kind of pick their brain a little bit so that they can share some insight with us on what they did to uh, get them in the position they are today. And today, our first guest is Mr. Justin McPatches from Not For Air Podcast and Radio. Justin, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Hey, I really appreciate you joining me here. Welcome to the inaugural episode, and uh, thanks for being a guest. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. You know, it's cool. Another first. So, you know, I'm always down for that. <laughs> me too. That's awesome. All right, so Justin, I know that you have spent the last 10 years really following your passion and uh, doing what you love in in podcasting. And just before we decided to go on air, you kind of shared a little bit about the history. Um, what made you get into podcasting and why do you love it so much? Uh, well, I used to work in radio um, in promotions in a station up in Vero and I lived there. I took a break, left for a while. When I got back, you know, I was like trying to get back in the radio because, you know, as people might not notice, radio is a hard business to get into. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, um, whether it's going to school, which eh, this proves <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> or anything like that. So I was kind of like, ah, I don't know what to do in the meantime. So I was hanging out with somebody and they suggested, hey, you should start a podcast while you try to get back in the radio. And I'm like, what? That's a podcast. This is two thousand. Oh, what? <laughs> and this was still freshly new. It was like five years in. You know, um, not everybody had iPhones yet. <laughs> it wasn't right, what, a, Yeah, what's an iPhone? <laughs> yeah, you know, kicks kick uh, what was a Kickstarter or not Kickstarter? Dude, but, those know. phones were the bomb. I had so, one with a little. But bit they didn't have the internet like now. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. That was all. Everything's touch screen now. So. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, okay. So she pretty much gave me um, the linked Audacity, which is what I still use today more than anything because it's just so simple for me um, and it's free <laughs> so I mean if you're going to start doing something because podcasting isn't expensive but isn't cheap it's it's like a in between kind of thing it depends on how you want to sound um, but when we started it was like with a Skype mic that was like this pencil looking thing right on a desk in a kitchen that had echo from hell so <laughs> Man, was, that's, yeah, that I'm glad you brought that up because that's what I tell people all the time. Like, you don't have to start fancy. The most important thing is you just start, get yeah. started. And that's what we did. I said, "Hey guys, you know, two other friends of mine, well, one other friend now." And I'm like, um, "Listen, I'm going to do this, you know, because uh, sometimes you know people talk like, hey, I want to do this,' and then they talk about it, and never do it. So I'm like, no, 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 this is going to happen. So I downloaded Audacity." When I started playing with it, I'm like, oh, this is very familiar to what I used at the radio station because I used to do live remotes. And what they do before then was on the phone. And at this time, it's like 2008, 2009, at the station, they had this uh, where you bring like a laptop and an air card back when we had those. Right, right. And, um, they would link up to the station and they would just do a quick, hey, I'm here, Jack FM over here, blah, blah, blah. And we would cut it and send it. And then it would play it on air as like crisp clean instead of... Right. I'm on okay. the phone. Yeah. So I remembered that. And that's like the only thing I knew how to do was like that. So it's the only thing they let me do. And they never let me on the air. So um, I got Audacity. I started playing with that. And I'm like, ooh, I know how to use this. Cool. And then I realized you could like rip off stuff off of YouTube, like audio clips. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to start having like intros and outros. And I just kind of played with it there. And um, we did the first episode. I think it was like in August or September of 2010. I know. I was like trying to remember what year, and I'm like, oh man, that's so far back now. Yeah, that's far, man. Especially in podcasting when like everybody's doing it now, which is fine. It's just like, you know, 10 no, years ago. <laughs> definitely have an advantage if you can, you know, if you can adapt to technology early, you know, you definitely have an advantage and you become like yourself, you know, a pioneer of the, of the industry. And that's yeah. super important, you know. Well, the thing was back then, too, is the technology was not where it's at now. Because if this technology existed, like, I think it barely, like, I think we got broadband after I graduated high school, like in 2001. Yeah, sounds which about right. Me. Yeah, which dates me, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So we didn't, everything else was like cut reel, CDs, 
it's not as easy as like hitting a record button now people don't even like because of stuff like anchor which i use one of the things i use people can just like get on their phone like this and just pop in like a headset like maybe for gaming or something and be like hey this is the so-and-so podcast yeah i mean which yes. is cool yeah. it's just back then we didn't have that we barely had like um a samsung optimus was like one of the first like android phones that was all like this and that back then it was like 3g Ooh. <laughs> you know? and so it's not where it is now where it's like instantly you could do this you don't even have to have a recorder you could just video it with vlogs or vlogs they call it it's nuts um, but that's how we got started. We just started recording in the kitchen. And, um, you know, I was using, um, God, what was that first website? Because you have to have a place to host it, you know. Right. Um, you know, and Facebook didn't have like an audio thing. YouTube, um, at the time, I didn't have a way to make an MP3. So waves were so huge files that on YouTube, it would be like, Phew. so that didn't work. So I went to... Um, Podomatic, that's what it was. First, first, first website, not for air, podomatic.com. Wow. Yeah, Man, but you had to pay for great. it after a certain amount of uh, bandwidth or not bandwidth, but storage. So um, I started coming up with different emails and then it was like, not for air podcast, something else, Podomatic. And then eventually I found a place to put it, like, you know, and then I ended up doing the radio stuff. So I could just air it anyway. So that's it's awesome. Crazy. That's a great story. Now, I know because you do have a background in radio and stuff, like you give a voice to indie artists, right? Yeah. Like you guys are a great platform for people that are trying to get discovered or just kind of like us, only hustling in the music industry, you know? Yeah. Um, talk, why why be indie facing? Just give me like one or two reasons you guys decided to go that route. Well, the, the original podcast, which was, you know, through 2010, 2011 um was basically we interviewed like um one or two of our friends that were in a band and um locally here in, in st Lucie or whatever people were like cool and i knew everybody in the scene anyway here because I, I i i'm from here more or less like i spent most of my 20s here so i knew everybody that was in bands and i'm like you know because i wanted to do radio anyway i'm like well you know what and then um like station up north what happens with corporate radio is even though this this channel and this morning show is so good they still did away with it and i'm like that's not gonna happen to me i'm not getting fired like that right. so i decided to do it myself and like okay let's do punk rock which is my main thing and let's play like local bands to help get them out there and then they'll come on and talk and stuff and you know so that's how we got it with that because um you know at the time nobody was doing that here in, a, in an area there was nobody supporting the local bands as far as um a podcast because nobody was doing podcasts one guy did a podcast here through um oh man what's that thing that um blog talk or something talk okay and um you know you call in or whatever and it was cool but you know it wasn't very much all the time and he moved away so i was like well i'm just gonna do it this way and we started doing live events at like um I guess it's called distillery now but back then it was like um something else right right no i yeah i'm familiar and i actually started doing a live stream because the station wasn't going at first like all the time it was whenever i could plug it in and, and get it going and then it would be live um other than that we just recorded podcasts but we started doing interviews with bands inside of there on their pizzazz sundays for like local band night nice local bands come over hang out in the vip area we just start talking uh playing music in between just chatting so we got that and then eventually i got into podunk and then eventually owned it so that worked out too awesome all right so let's move on Justin. what advice would you give someone that's watching this and is really interested maybe they want to start a podcast but they don't know where to begin like but in 10 years in the industry what do you wish give me one or two things that you wish you knew back then that you know now um that's a tricky one because the whole journey part of it is like the i like the fact that i had to learn things you know okay. that's that's awesome. the important thing because it gives you experience it's not so much that you know about the computer system or anything it's more of okay trial and error and the, because the people don't realize there's a lot of trial and error with, and not just with this but anything you do absolutely yeah and that's just part of life and so you know you know i was younger then um I'm much wiser now i think 
um, in the 10 years, you know, how, how to respond with people. Yeah. Barely. So right? We hope, right. <laughs> I mean, me well, too. I don't know. I question myself sometimes. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, which is funny because it's, it's I'm really bad at I, when I go to cons and stuff. Sometimes I have like a podcast panel and I'm like, I feel like Charlie Day and that thing from Sunny where he's pointing at the whole like like conspiracy list. That's how I feel trying to explain how to do a podcast. I'm like, here's what you need, and it's just like, it's true. What? I can't explain <laughs> it. I just go true. and do it. <laughs> it's like I know how to just you know do it. I'll do it for you. Get out of the way. But um, I think people should you know if you want to do it, do it. I mean, first of all, my people don't realize is even in the 10 years now so podcasting has been around for almost 15 years or 20 i can't remember but 2005 anyway it's been around a long time now everybody can do it easily through whatever means you want but do not go in thinking this is going to make me some money unless your name is uh unless you're uh, an ex-wrestler some kind of celebrity from something else joe rogan (laughs) Uh, the original guys from like Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla, those guys, you know, they were doing Love Line first, and then you know, yeah, yeah, on the podcast. radio. I remember being a kid and listening to, you know, it was kind of uh, you you would while well, the parents were asleep because I think yeah. it came on like 11, on 11 TV, 30, yeah. you know, yeah, so, call in. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and now it'd be like, oh, follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. didn't have to do that either back in the day, weren't we? No, I rem- no, none of that existed, man. It was, you know, party lines. And- it was kind of nice because you didn't have to really deal with everything. <laughs> Just whatever's going on in your house. So you didn't have to worry about anything else. <laughs> Except unless you read the newspaper or saw the news. Um, but yeah, don't go in thinking, oh man, you know, I'm just going to drop this. And, you know, because... You know, I started when it was still fairly new, and it did take me about to about this year or last year, um, where I started actually picking up some income. But it's not actually from me doing my show, any of them. It's more from I'm really good at recording, and I know what I'm doing and editing and learning all that stuff that I learned over the years. You know, trial and error. So now, where I, you know, I record like somebody else doing their podcast, I edit it for them, send it to them, and you know, it's on Podbean. There you go. Man, that's awesome. And I think you hit on two really important things. Uh, well, three. I mean, it's uh, the first one is don't if you if you want to do it, just do it. Just start. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you got to love time. it, too. You got to yeah. love it. Yeah. And then that was rolling into two is you got to love it. You, if you're doing it for just for the money, you're going to be you're going to get frustrated. You're going to be sorely disappointed and you're probably going to end up throwing in the towel because, like you said, the, the love of it is definitely got to be be there. And even with that, I took a break. I mean, you know, when you do, my problem is, and a lot of people don't don't follow what I do because I'm ADD, ADHD. <laughs> so my problem is I get an idea. I'm like, oh my God, that'd be a great podcast. But I already have this one. Well, that's okay. I can do both. Then it's like, I can do three. Then I could like start up a whole group and I just don't do that. That sounds like me when I play MMO video games. Like yes. I'm the guy that has 17 characters, none of them <laughs> max level. If you can combine them all to like one character that can do all the abilities, then you'd be like, I got my OP guy. That would be the perfect game, right? But yeah. unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But you're right. And uh, they do recommend, I mean, when you pick something, you should stick with it for at least, you know, 14 to 16 months just to let it gain some traction because it just doesn't happen overnight. I mean, you know what they say, the average overnight success takes about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. <you> no. <laughs> so by then I'll be done. <laughs> No, yeah. you know, but it's it's good. I took a break, you know, because I, I was doing too much and I you know, I moved around a little bit. Um but yeah, the music one I think of everything probably and that and the horror one. Uh, the horror show, which is me and my wife because she writes books. We got into a lot of um conventions like Spooky Empire, mostly a lot of Spooky Empire's guests and uh, moderators and stuff, which is another thing the podcast, you know, because of my experience with talking and all that kind of stuff with this, um, I got to be like a moderator. A couple, a bunch of times, and it was cool. So I guess. Oh, and that's there. awesome! It's great how, and I think that that was the third awesome point that you made was that like your journey has allowed you to develop these skills. That okay, so you might not be making you know thousands of dollars with your podcast, but you are able to make money. You know, doing editing and doing video production and being hosts and speakers at at these events. So I mean. Yeah, it, it just ties into everything you said about enjoy the journey, like, you know, like respect the process because you, yeah. you do learn valuable skills in the end that uh, that'll pay off for you. 
I mean, it's cool now that they have um, they have books now for podcasting and even Twitch, which is see to me, Twitch is very new to me. I'm on Twitch, but I finally figured out some commands. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like I can play the Xbox just fine, but you know, figuring out this chat, which I love because it's more live, like, yeah. like this, except that they're in the chat, and I'm like, hello, how are you? And I can not have to type nothing because I just be like, that's a good question, Billy. Thank you. Um, See, that's awesome. Yeah, that's another possibility. I mean, recent, but I know a lot of people are jumping in. Uh, yeah, is. YouTube too has always been there, but YouTube gets weird sometimes. But it's fun to put like just nice short videos on YouTube, like maybe an unboxing, so it's not live and it disappears it's going to be there yeah yeah um, but there's so many platforms now you know the other the other thing i want to give advice on was besides starting it again you don't need the most uh, you know expensive stuff i think you could probably get everything you need for way under 100 bucks just to start out with you don't need to start out going i have the best equipment because you know you just right. you know come up with a premise um i think if you're doing it by yourself it might be a little more tricky and the only reason why i'm okay with doing it by myself is because after a while i had no choice and I'm like, okay, well, I'm by myself now. Do I want to keep doing this? Or, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to play music too and then cut it in breaks and, and work out that way. So I can sit there and talk for two hours to myself and not be upset by it. But not a lot of people can do that. So if you can get maybe a couple of friends, maybe two people or maybe three, it's a lot easier to do it because you're just having a conversation, depending man, on man. the podcast. Yeah. Most of mine are just like chilling. Hey, how are you? You know, this is what's going on with this. So that's that. That's the other advice I'd give is, you know, uh, if you can find some friends, you know, just you got to test everything out. If it doesn't work, don't give up. Maybe tweak something. But that's awesome. That's great advice. Thank you so much. And I think uh, I mean, that last one is really is really helpful. And that's why we're kind of I'm kind of expanding into like these interactive video video, uh, oh, yeah. you know, series, because I think uh it, it's just nice to have someone to bounce ideas off of to start a conversation and to maybe see things through someone else's eyes you know it's, it's always good to get more than just tunnel vision you know? yeah it's it's definitely i mean it's one thing when you're um out there talking to the audience whether they're there or not cool thing about podcasts is you know they can listen whenever they want you know video is a little more tricky because you can't do that when you're in your car because be like hey it's... yeah no it's true audio <laughs> yeah was great because people are like always going oh you got an itunes because a lot of people have apple so itunes yeah. um but you know like podbean is on the go as well um anchor you know that's another cool one now there's so much stuff i mean that's why a lot of people are doing it because the accessibility is there now just because anybody can doesn't mean everybody should again you have to you don't want to just sit there and go, blah, 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 you know, and then, I don't know if anybody's going to listen. Maybe somebody will. That'd be cool. But you know what I mean? Like you got to kind of have an idea. You got to make it interesting. Yeah, absolutely. And I've heard other advice. Like I, I know a guy that's brutally honest, a friend of mine, John, and he's like, you know, what's funny to you guys hanging out at Starbucks being nerds may not be funny to everybody else. And I'm like, that's true, but we're having a good time. <laughs> well, I mean, there's an audience for everything. That's, exactly. that's what I try to tell everybody is that, you know, it, there are, I mean, there are billions of people on these social media platforms. I promise you, you will find an audience. They're there. You know, I don't think that that's a problem these days. Cause like you said, the accessibility of just technology and everything is just so, oh, insane. so insane these days. I mean, you're always plugged in. You can't get away from it, you know? So I definitely well, think the audience is there. Yeah, it's definitely there. It's just you got to find your niche. My thing, uh, here's uh, honesty time. Here's my biggest problem why I'm probably not as successful as far as like, you know, money or maybe even fame, I guess. Um, the reason why I'm not as big as maybe I could be is the shows sound great. There's no issue with that. Everything sounds great, whatever. I am not a marketer. I have no idea how to do promotion like that. That's, I just, I'm doing audio, I'm doing the editing, I'm doing the station running. I got other people running that for me now, thank goodness. And they're doing a bang up job with doing the whole punk rock station stuff for me. And, um, you know, I let them have free reign, whatever you guys want to do. I'm paying the bill, it's cool, go. Um, you know, that's all good, but yeah. And what's cool about like what you do and your whole thing is to help people figure out, okay, how can you get it out there? Because not everybody has money to go, hey, Facebook, here's 20 bucks, even though you should be sharing it anyway, because people like the page, but you know, Facebook. Right, you're right, right. 
And I think it's great to have people like you guys out there because it's important because not everybody like myself, I can't market. If I had somebody in marketing and help me get other places, I had no idea where they are, how to get there to listen. Oh man, it'd be on, I'd be on fire, <laughs> more fire. Yeah, no, and, and it, it's great. And that's why I wanted to start this because it's, you know, it's uh, reciprocal all around. You benefit from it, we benefit from it. And uh, it, it's just good to let my audience know that there are people out here doing it. Like I always talk about, you can do it, but it's nice now to be able you show to- Show people, down. people can yeah. do, have done it or yeah. doing it. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, success stories and an inspiration so that it, it becomes a little more real that way. You know, it, it's not a dream anymore. Like you said at the beginning, you know, it's one thing to say you want to do it. It's another thing to actually, you know, get your ass off the couch and do it. And keep doing it despite <laughs> yeah. everything and still do it because um, it's, always, it's A, it's kind of therapeutic, actually, because, you know. <laughs> When you're talking to like people out there, especially if like I'm on the radio, on the internet radio and stuff, and I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, yeah. One guy, because um, there's a couple of podcasts in the area. Well, mostly, almost all the podcasts in the area is somehow related to me with doing it. Um, whether they were on my show before and they started doing their own or they're friends of mine that I said, you guys should start a podcast. Um, like, that's, uh, that's why I started mine. I mean, you were a big inspiration behind mine, you know, and uh, you know, hell yeah. yeah. Might not I mean, always comment, but I was always watching, you know? Oh, yeah. No, no. I understand. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I comment or watch most of my own stuff. So, <laughs> But this video thing is new to me as well. This whole this whole video thing. Like, I did a couple interviews, like, via um, old school Google Hangouts. Oh, yes. Even that was a while ago now. That. Um, but, you know, I did that. And now, because I'm on Twitch and I have OBS and, I'm, and the videos, you know, the videos unboxing on YouTube really help me out with being on camera. And because it's different than... Not having this and just going, you know, hey, okay, and here's this next song. And, um, yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, it's a whole different It's so much life. easier that way because it's just straight, you know what I mean? Like, I could be sitting here, like, you know, who knows what I'd be doing? You know, I got my action figure. <laughs> okay, so like, you know, sometimes on the green screen, half my turtles are disappearing because it's green. And it's like, well, Detective Donnie's got an axe to grind, you know, but <laughs> which is why I love my toys. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's cool. I think if people want to do it, do it. I think um, yeah. if it's something you, if you always want to be, see, I always want to be on the radio. That's my entire life goal was to be like on the buzz. That was it. When I was a kid growing up in Jupiter, that was it. Be on the buzz. You know, and I knew most of the guys on there and um, I never got to because by the time I was ready to do it, the station kind of went under. And that's when I'm they like, all right, yeah. we're not doing that anymore. But yeah, you know, I got Podunk. Podunk's great. Um, it's a good way to get everybody out there and promote people and their bands. Because I always say, even if your band is terrible, which probably is, but I'm like, you know what? Somebody out there is probably going to like it. Hell yeah. Despite what I think. Yeah. Which, you know, I'll still play it regardless if it's, in fact, if it's some basement garage thing, I'll play it anyway, just because that sounds cool. <laughs> you know, no, right? that's, that's awesome. And it's great that you give these guys a, a platform and a voice. That's super important. I mean, back in the day, you didn't have that. There were so just, these barely things. zines around yeah, yeah around like, this area it's very it's not yeah. rural it's a city but you know what i mean it's so widespread it's not like a city city it's not yeah. like hey, we're gonna go downtown over in this you know neck of the woods it's like oh hey where are you at now i think i'm in stewart yeah oh. i don't know i don't know fort pierce maybe i don't know it all blends together i don't know where oh, yeah it's it's like you have to look for signs oh okay <laughs> this is dangerous enough this must be hope sound <laughs> So Justin, in closing, brother, where can we find you? Where where do you guys live? Show, uh, let us know how to find you. Okay, so obviously Facebook, just under um, really underground horror radio is where I'm doing most of my stuff, or podunkradio.com. Instagram is J McPatches. That's my personal one. So I'm getting followed by movie stars, but I don't know if they're really cam girls or not. I can't tell. Whatever. Um, uh, Underground Horror Radio on Instagram is good because that's where I have all my horror stuff, my figures, my magazines I read. Um, I think it's uh, NFA McPatches on Twitch. Okay. Not for error. Um, but then, then they never say it right. But yeah, on Twitch. Uh, I'm trying to think where else. 
I'm on Twitter as not for air PD cast because I couldn't get all the letters in. Okay, and we we will drop. I will drop those links in the show notes so yeah. everybody can yeah. just you know one point click and and follow you on. on also, everything. look up not for air podcast on Podbean. That's where um, a lot of the Chorbro and El Bandito's Power Hour Love is on there. Um, Underground Horror Radio's on there. A bunch of my stuff's on there from the last god forever now since like i think i started pod being like 2015 maybe wow okay awesome Something like that 2016 but uh it's all on there and then on anchor i'm slowly getting stuff on anchor which will send it to spotify i think i'm on spotify too but i don't have much on there so gotcha well like i said we'll have all the links down there below and uh man justin thank you so much I think oh, thank you at a time i really appreciate it thanks for being my first guest Oh, not a problem, dude. This is a great series. I can't. I'm looking forward to see what else you got going on over here. Who, who, maybe pop up some other podcasts I don't know about around here. It's like we yeah. like tribute. No. Yeah, ab- absolutely. No. You need to charge <laughs> the tax. But, yeah, right? You're like, yo, there's a <laughs> yeah, right. No, I did like England, but no, no, it's it's great. I think it's I think it's a good thing. This is a cool show. I, I had a lot of fun. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, same. Thank you, sir. And uh, you know, be well. And, and we'll uh, we'll we'll talk soon. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure we should start a show together at some point. We'll we'll figure out something. Maybe I should go to a con and just like we could totally con it up or something. We'll be man. Cool. That would be great. You're always invited. Just Thank uh, you. if you see that we're going to be a one, just reach out, and I'll make sure that uh, you, you have a way in. All right. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Have a great day. And thanks you a lot. Too.